Welcome, and thank you for choosing the Bay Pines VA Healthcare System for your healthcare needs. We are here to introduce you to one of the largest VA healthcare systems in the country, comprised of the CW Bill Young VA Medical Center in Bay Pines, Florida, and our eight VA community clinics located in Bradenton, Cape Coral, Naples, Palm Harbor, Port Charlotte, St. Petersburg, Sarasota, and Sebring. Every year, the Bay Pines VA Healthcare System provides care to nearly 110,000 veterans spread across nine counties in Southwest Florida. More than 4,000 full-time VA employees work at these facilities, providing a full range of high-quality medical, psychiatric, and extended care services in outpatient, inpatient, residential, nursing home, and home care settings. Service is provided utilizing the core values of integrity, commitment, advocacy, respect, and excellence. We have the highest standards of evidence-based healthcare and are national leaders in health information technology to ensure that our veterans have the best continuity of care possible. Our mission is to honor you, the veteran, by providing exceptional healthcare that promotes health and well-being. This video will help introduce you to our healthcare system and the many people that will make up your healthcare team. Thank you for your service to our nation and welcome to the Bay Pines VA Healthcare System. In order to provide the best care possible, we will work as a team to provide care that is centered on you, our patient. What is a PACT? A patient-aligned care team, or PACT, is each veteran working together with healthcare professionals to plan for the whole person care and lifelong health and wellness. A PACT is a partnership between you and your healthcare team to make sure you receive whole person care. This is personalized care to meet your individual healthcare goals. Your care team looks at all aspects of your health. The emphasis is on prevention and health promotion. Members of that team include you, your primary care provider, nurses, pharmacists, dietitians, clerks, social workers, and many more members with one common purpose, honoring veterans by creating compassionate care experiences that exceed expectations. We will soon be introducing you to some of those team members, but first, let's talk about the day of your first appointment. Whether you will be visiting our main Bay Pines campus or one of our outpatient clinics, handicap and patient parking will be available to you. A map, directions to your clinic, and instructions for parking will be provided. There is also information on the Bay Pines webpage at www.baypines.va.gov. In addition, at the Maine Medical Center campus, we provide a free shuttle service that will pick you up from any of the patient or visitor parking lots and bring you to any of our buildings during normal business hours. Now, let's introduce you to the first few members of your healthcare team and discuss their roles and responsibilities. The most important member of the team is you. Because of this, there are several things that we ask you to do to help us serve you. First, we ask that you take part in your health care by speaking up whenever you have a question, whether it's about your care, your medications, or if you just think that something does not feel right. All veterans deserve great care, respect, and non-discrimination. If you feel that any of these are being violated in any way, please make our staff aware. We also invite you to bring along a family member or trusted friend to your first visit to help you better manage your health and discuss important health decisions. We ask that you provide us with a complete medical history so that we can best understand your medical status. In order to do this, we ask that you bring any medical information that you feel is important to your first visit. This could include your current doctor and how we can contact them. Also bring any non-VA health insurance information, past medical records, reports, labs, test results, 
information on recent surgeries, hospital stays, specialist visits, immunization records, and a list of your current medications. It is a good idea to bring a list of questions and medical problems to discuss with your primary care provider. Upon entering the building for your appointment, the first team member that you may meet will be a health administrative staff member or clerk. They are responsible for scheduling all types of appointments, including office visits and lab visits. Now let's discuss some helpful tips to make this section of your visit run smoothly. Make sure that you have your updated address and telephone numbers with you. If you have private health insurance, we ask that you provide this information to the clerk as well. You will be asked to update this critical information at every visit. You will also need to have proper identification with you. This could be a driver's license or any other government-issued picture ID card. The preferred identification card within the VA is the Veterans Health Identification Card. After receiving your card, you will need to bring it to all visits as it is used for identification throughout the VA system. You will need it for appointment check-in and medication pickup. In order to speed you through the check-in process at your next visit, self-service kiosks are conveniently provided near check-in areas. If you do not already have a VHIC card, ask our staff how to get one. At the end of your appointment, please check out with your clinic clerk. During this time, you can also schedule any required follow-up appointments. If you are ever running late for your appointment, please call us as soon as you can. If you know you are not going to be able to make a scheduled appointment, please try to call at least 24 hours in advance to reschedule. By calling early, your appointment can be given to another veteran in need of care. Once you are checked in, you will meet one of the caring and knowledgeable nurses on your healthcare team. Many of us live with chronic diseases that are preventable. Because of this, the VA has shifted its focus from disease management to disease prevention. Your nurse will be helping with this by providing valuable disease prevention education, as well as asking questions about these prevention topics. Being involved in your own healthcare, safe lifestyle practices, being tobacco free, limiting use of alcohol, eating wisely, staying active, striving for a healthy weight, stress management, and staying up to date on recommended screenings and immunizations. They will also take vital signs such as blood pressure, temperature, height and weight, and gather information regarding the reason for your visit. Lastly, they will help introduce you to My Healthy Vet. This is the VA's award-winning free online resource, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to empower you to take charge of your health. This online website provides you safe access to your VA healthcare information and lets you refill VA prescriptions, view laboratory tests, provide personal wellness reminders, view past and future appointments, and communicate with your healthcare team through secure messaging. My Healthy Vet also has a wide variety of other services available. This includes self-entered data to track and graph a record of your vital signs, food and activities, and readings related to blood pressure, heart rate, cholesterol, and so much more. You can research health concerns or diseases via the Healthy Living Center and the Veterans Health Library. Under Health History, you can add health information regarding procedures and office visits with non-VA providers, as well as keeping a record of your family and military health history. These can be important items to share with your VA provider. A new way to contact your healthcare team is through secure messaging or by email in a safe environment and at your convenience. This can be done securely through My Health Event and should only be used for non-urgent medical matters. To begin, you'll need to visit the My Health Event website at www.myhealth.va.gov. When you register, make sure to select both veteran and VA patient when asked your relationship to the VA. Once you complete your enrollment, you'll have the basic account. 
To get full advantage of all the features of My Health Event, you'll need to upgrade your account by completing the VA Release of Information form. You can complete this form during your visit today, as one is supplied in your welcome packet, or you can download it from the My Health Event website when you enroll from home. The forms need to be turned into your local clinic, release of information office, clerk, or at the library, also known as the Patient Education Resource Center. Also in your welcome packet, there is contact information for our My Healthy Vet Coordinator here at Bay Pines. Our My Healthy Vet Coordinator and staff can help you get started if you need assistance or have further questions. After speaking with your nurse, you will meet your primary care provider. This could be a physician or a nurse practitioner. Your primary care provider is one of the key members of your healthcare team. They will serve as the quarterback for your care, as well as coordinate your care with other VA and non-VA healthcare providers. Your primary care provider will perform a medical history and physical exam to address any specific concerns that you may have, as well as to help promote your overall health. Your primary care provider will also perform an assessment of your needs. They will then work with you to develop a plan of care for each problem identified. Make sure to speak up if there is something in this plan that you will not be able to do. This plan of care may involve referring you to several other healthcare providers and specialty services within the VA. Not all services are located at all of our community-based outpatient clinics. You may need to travel to C.W. Bill Young VA Medical Center or our Lee County facility to receive specialty care. You may also be eligible to receive care in the community. Mental health is an important part of primary care and is therefore a specialty service available at all of our clinics. You may meet with a mental health provider or social worker who can assist your primary care provider in screening for and providing assistance with managing a wide array of mental health concerns, such as post-traumatic stress disorder, grief counseling, anger management, and substance abuse. Your primary care provider will also prescribe medications as appropriate for filling either at the VA pharmacy or the pharmacy of your choice. If you fill at a non-VA pharmacy, the VA will not be able to reimburse you for the cost. At your first visit, your primary care provider will review the medications you brought in or your medication list, make any necessary adjustments, and enter new medication orders for you. These orders will be processed for filling and will be mailed to you within 7 to 10 days. Make sure you inform your provider at each visit if you do not want them to order medications for you. And remember, you will need to continue to get your medications from your non-VA provider until your first appointment. Your doctor will also address all of your general and preventative health care needs and coordinate care with you and your other providers by using a model of shared decision making. For example, instead of telling you what you must do to treat a particular condition, they will present you with all of your available treatment options and work with you to choose the one that is right for you. Your primary care provider will do all of the things that we have discussed so far, but there are a few things that they cannot do. Your VA provider cannot prescribe medications to treat a condition that they have not assessed personally. This is true even if you have been diagnosed by a non-VA provider. You still have to see your VA provider for that condition or provide the appropriate documentation from your non-VA provider. In addition, your primary care provider is unable to refer you to non-VA specialists or diagnostic services unless you qualify for a VA Care in the Community program, which takes into account the distance from your residence to your primary care location, appointment availability within the Bay Pines VA healthcare system, and hardship. Located in your clinic area, the clinical pharmacy specialists work with your primary health care team by managing chronic disease states such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or diabetes. Both Bay Pines and Lee County have pharmacies where you can receive your initial supply of urgent medications. All non-urgent medications will be mailed to your home. Pharmacists will also review your medications before they are given or dispensed to you. 
Due to the large volume of patients that use the VA pharmacy, all medication refill requests must be requested by you and will then be mailed directly to your home. Remember, all refills must be requested. Medications are not refilled automatically. For your convenience, there are several ways to request medication refills. One way is by entering your request online through My Healthy Vet. You can do this any time of the day or night. In addition, you can request refills by calling the pharmacy and using the automated refill request line. If you have a prescription with no refills left, you are also able to request a renewal over the phone or via My Health Event. You may also mail in the refill slip that was in your prescription bag when you received it. When using My Health Event or the telephone for refill requests, you will be alerted to any problems with your prescription. For example, if it has no refills or if it is expired. Our small community-based outpatient clinics, Palm Harbor, St. Petersburg, Sarasota, Sebring, Port Charlotte, Bradenton, and Naples do not stock or dispense medications. If you have seen a provider at one of our outpatient clinics, you can either have your medication mailed to you, or if it is a medication that must be started right away, you can pick it up directly from the C.W. Bill Young VA Medical Center or the Lee County VA Healthcare Center pharmacies. In urgent situations, you may be given a prescription for a local pharmacy. Now let's discuss some additional important and helpful pharmacy-related information. The VA uses a formulary or a list of available medications. Some medications may require a prior authorization request from your provider. If you currently use a medication that requires a prior authorization or is not on our formulary, it may be switched to an equivalent alternative medication. Medications requiring a prior authorization may still be obtained if the necessary criteria are met and your provider feels it is in your best interest. Furthermore, some medications are restricted. This means that they can only be prescribed by a healthcare provider in a specific area. For example, medications for cancer treatment. Your primary care provider will therefore be unable to provide these medications for you and will have to refer you to the appropriate specialist if you need them. The VA's formulary includes both brand and generic medications. However, the VA prescription label will only show the generic name. If you are having trouble with your medications, your pharmacist can help. Most medications within the VA are dispensed as 90-day supplies. Sometimes the VA requires patients to tablet split certain medications. If you are asked to split or cut your tablets, a tablet cutter will be provided at no charge. Make sure you can do this so you can take your medications as ordered. You are not required to receive all of your medications from the VA. Some medications, especially over-the-counter medications such as aspirin or vitamins, may be less expensive than your VA copay if you purchase them yourself. However, it is important that you make sure your VA provider is aware of all the medications you are taking, even those not provided by the VA. Remember, you can use My Healthy Vet to refill, renew, and keep track of all of your medications. If you continue to see your non-VA doctor, talk with your VA provider about ways to coordinate your care. Depending on your eligibility and service connection, you may have a copay. Service connection is granted through the Veterans Benefits Administration. For questions about service connection or to apply for benefits through VBA, please call 1-800-827-1000 or visit the St. Petersburg VA Regional Office located on the Bay Pines VA Healthcare Systems Medical Center campus. The pharmacy is not responsible for the billing of your medication. Depending on your eligibility, you may be mailed a bill after you receive your medication. If you have questions, call the customer service number located on your bill. Your primary care team may also recommend that you speak with a registered dietitian. Dietitians can show you how to make changes in your eating habits that help to improve your health. Group nutrition classes and individual dietitian appointments are available for many medical conditions, including diabetes, high blood pressure, and kidney disease, 
to guide you in making appropriate dietary changes, such as lowering salt or cholesterol intake. If you want more information on safe and effective weight loss, you can also drop into our MOVE program. The MOVE program helps you reach or stay at a healthy weight by supporting your efforts to improve your nutrition, physical activity levels, and overall lifestyle. Social work representatives are another very helpful part of your healthcare team. They are uniquely trained to assess all of your needs and assist you in gaining access to the many resources available to you as a veteran. Many people have questions regarding end-of-life care and decisions. Because of this, every veteran patient is required to have a discussion regarding life-sustaining treatment options, like an advanced directive or living will. Your social worker can provide helpful information when considering what is best for you. This document will help you make personal health care decisions now about what you want done if you are not able to make them later on. This prevents your family from having to make difficult decisions for you, especially if they are unaware of your wishes. If you already have an advanced directive, please bring it with you to your first appointment. If not, your primary care team will coordinate with your social worker to complete this requirement as soon as possible. For those veterans that have significant transportation issues, your social worker may be able to help you with alternative transportation. Many of the outpatient clinics have shuttle services available to the main CW Bill Young VA Medical Center campus. Social workers can provide assistance with and referral to both VA and non-VA short-term transitional housing. In addition, they may be able to refer you to employment resources or to one of our many programs designed to help veterans with specific needs such as rehabilitation or substance abuse. Depending on your eligibility and individual needs, Social workers can also assist veterans needing help with day-to-day -day living to obtain placement in either a VA or non-VA facility. Examples of these facilities include assisted living and rehabilitation facilities. As you can see, your VA social worker is another invaluable member of your healthcare team. You can also contact them if you need help with adult daycare, hospice, caregiver support, homeless veteran resources, home health services, and much, much more. We have laboratory or lab services available at the main campus and at each of our community-based outpatient clinics. There are also many diagnostic services available, including X-ray, MRI, CT and PET scan, ultrasound, mammography, and echo. It is important to note, however, that you must have an appointment for all lab and diagnostic services. The community-based clinics do have limited lab and diagnostic services available on site. You may need to come to CW Bill Young VA Medical Center for certain tests. If you have a medical concern during administrative hours, you should contact your PAC team. But occasionally, medical questions and problems occur outside of normal business hours. Therefore, we have an emergency department and a nursing telephone line available after hours. You can call this number for health care information and advice, emergency cancellation of appointments, pharmacy issues, patient education, and other health care related services. At Bay Pines, we provide more than just great health care. Originally opened in 1933, the medical center is located on 337 acres situated on the Gulf of Mexico, approximately eight miles northwest of downtown St. Petersburg, Florida. Co-located on the medical center campus are a VA regional office and a national cemetery. This area is part of Tampa Bay, the second most populated metropolitan area in the state. 
In 2013, the medical center was renamed in honor of the late U.S. Congressman C.W. Bill Young of Florida's 13th District, a staunch supporter of veterans and a frequent visitor to the facility. The main medical center is located on a beautiful, sprawling piece of waterfront property with many places to relax and unwind, including our own fishing dock and the War Memorial Park right next door. We have a coffee shop and canteen offering a varied menu for your dining pleasure in between appointments. The main medical center building is also equipped with Wi-Fi. You can connect to our Wi-Fi network with any smartphone, tablet, or internet-ready mobile device. There is also a tax-free retail store, credit union, and post office located on-site for your convenience. If you are interested in learning more about our facility and the excellent care that we provide, please visit www.baypines.va.gov. You can also connect with us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash VA Bay Pines. Twitter at www.twitter.com forward slash VA Bay Pines. And by signing up for our e-news service at www.baypines.va.gov forward slash news forward slash e news dot ASP. We would like to thank you for your service and remind you that your healthcare team will work together to provide you with the exceptional care that you deserve. You served us. Now it's our turn to serve you.